what's the transaction fee and limit of using WeChat Pay or Alipay and how to get around it. If you don't know what must prepare for your trip to China, check out my checklist video. So transaction fees are waived for less than 200 yuan, which is about 30 US dollars. Most things including food, taxis, and drinks are way lower than that. However, there will be a 3% for anything over 200 yuan. And don't worry, there is an easier way to get around it. Okay, let's say if I ask the cashier in a liquor store to split $70 bill in five times, he's probably gonna throw me out into do math and the same damn thing five times. It's impossible here. But in China, people are happy to do it because you can actually set up the payment from your end with both apps and then just scan. Vendors just need to check the total amount. And by the way, we are good at math. Please also be noted that there is a limit for both services. It's maximum seven grand a month and nine grand a year. That's not much, to be honest, if you are staying for more than 15 days. And furthermore, you also need to account in the current conversion and foreign transaction fees charged by your own bank. Still, with me, no worries, mate. There is an ultimate way for all. Behold, that is the relative cards. You can find it in WeChat Wallet here below bank cards. When you can set up 10 relative cards, how great is that? So just approach your nice Chinese friends like me, I'm most handsome. Well, anyway, ask them to give you a relative card and transfer money like this. You pay them back by Google currency rate, it's cheap and no extra fees. You like this video, I know you like it.